Dispersants are chemicals that are used to break up an oil spill. It, uh, an oil spill comes out in huge quantities and it has the capacity to smother the shoreline. And what a dispersant does is it breaks it up into little droplets and uh, then it eliminates its danger for the shoreline. Dispersants are made out of toxic chemicals. They are surfactants that are breaking up this oil spill. And so they have a number of toxic components that people should be worried about. Um, they are, will probably cause headaches. They may cause other neurological symptoms. Uh, generally speaking, all of these toxic chemicals are bad for human health. But of course, in this case, our bigger concern is the toxic effects of the oil itself. And in comparison, really, the toxicity of the dispersants is the least of our problems for human health. Let me add, however, that there is a real danger to the workers working on the spill because the, the workers are exposed to fumes that would be coming out of the dispersed plume and we think it's very important for them to wear protective gear to have that fitted correctly so that they're not breathing in the toxic components of the dispersant. We have very little information about the effectiveness of these dispersants at these depths in the ocean. Historically, dispersants have been used mostly on the surface, so we have a track record of their effectiveness there. But used at depth, and used at this great depth of a mile deep, we're really flying blind here. And we are very worried about the toxicity of that dispersed plume to the aquatic animals and to the aquatic species in the marine environment. So plankton would be uh, affected, uh, fish larvae would be affected, little crustaceans would be affected. What we would worry about is the short-term acute effects of the dispersant just killing them outright, and also about the possibility of the di dispersant traveling up the food chain into the higher organisms, and potentially eventually even into our own food chain of the fish that we eat. So far we've been really just looking at the effect of this dispersant where the oil is coming up. And we have to anticipate that the dispersant and the dispersed plume will eventually come to shore. Um, and then it will be affecting organisms at the shore. It may very well be affecting human health at the shore. And there will be a set of questions that we need to face if and when it does come to shore, 